Lynette is a biomimetic linear actuator for robots. He uses an electromagnet inside a cage of permanent magnets to mimic the configuration of muscles of microscopic level. This allows me to avoid RC servos and their noisy gearboxes. I want my robots to be silent. Even the Roomba. Shh, shh, shh. In addition to Lynette being relatively quiet, Lynette's can be both parallelized and serialized. For greater pulling force, you parallelize it. For longer stroke lengths, you serialize them. Creating Lynette started when I was learning about human muscles. In this excellent video by Larry Keeley, you can see how the actin and myosin proteins in our muscles work to sort of paddle past each other. This contracts our muscles. Because we are trying to mimic muscle, Lynette's electromagnet takes the place of myosin, and its permanent magnet takes the place of the actin. When the electromagnet is activated, it creates a magnetic field that interacts with permanent magnets, pulling the halves together to generate a pulling force. But it's only an actuator when I can control it. I was really stressed over this because I'm not well versed in electronics. Luckily, ChatGPT helped me with the set. All right, for our setup, we have uh, Lynette. We have the current driver that controls the power that Lynette's gonna get. And then the Arduino, which is running a little loop to uh, control uh, Lynette's movement up and down. Oh. oh yeah, there she goes. That is so satisfying. I had it just operating as an electromagnet before, but now it's moving as a, like, a controlled mechanism. And initially I tried to use a 9-volt battery on the, the current controller. Nah, it needed to be hooked up to the power supply. That is so satisfying. Off camera, I'll just be doing this for 20 to 30 minutes, probably. <laughs> At this moment, I started to suspect this invention already existed. It wasn't quite a solenoid, which are normally used in valves. Turns out it was most similar to a voice coil mode. They are named that because they were originally used for audio speakers, but they are also used in things like hard disk drives. But is Lynette just a regular voice coil mode? Lynette is different in that its permanent magnet structure isn't the normal monolithic permanent magnet in voice coil motors. Instead, it's broken into six separate magnets arranged in a hexagon. This lets us do something really cool also occurs in biological muscle, which is to tile the arrangement of linear actuators. And it's an efficient arrangement because the electromagnet of one cell is sharing the permanent magnets of the neighboring cell. That's not something that a normal voice coil motor does. The more we link together, the stronger our actuator can be when connected to the same load. With all these hexagons, I'm starting to think I am a bunch of honeybees trapped inside a Hawaiian shirt. Lynette might be useful for your robot project. You can access the files and part list for Lynette on my Patreon. Thank you to my first patron, Matt Perez. Your support means a lot to me. There are various other types of muscle-like actuators used in robotics. Pneumatic, nitinol wire, and electric. Pneumatics are robust, but require a pump. Here's a pneumatic arm from the CNU Soft Robotics and Bionics Lab. Nitinol muscle wires contract with heat and expand with coolant. Here's Carter Hurd's muscle wire finger. They aren't widely seen in applications. I remember trying them as a kid for a hexapod robot, but they move disappointingly slow with the current I used, and I accidentally burnt one out. Electric actuators include motors like servos and small androids, or larger ones with planetary, planetary or cycloid gearboxes. Here's Pablo Cowan's servo-based legs. Larger motor ro motors are typically placed at joints for the leverage needed for motion, like an ambidex by neighbor lads. And of course, there's my arm. I'm Adrian Perez. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. The future will probably be something like a version that either has multi-channels so that I can uh, lift really heavy objects with multiple actuators all combined, 
or a really, really small uh, actuator so that I can fit it into a, uh, a hand. If uh, you have any other ideas or if you'd like to see one of those, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.